In this week's episode, baby sea turtles released, a big bird bust, catfish fight, and dinosaur brains. We're starting off on Australia's Fraser Island, where officials are investigating a case of wildlife harassment after images surfaced online of two men surfing on a beached sea turtle. The photos caught the attention of the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service after they made the rounds on social media. Green sea turtles are critically endangered, and the surfing duo could face fines of up to $19,965. In another case of environmental crime, a hunter in Jordan was arrested last month after he was found in possession of 7,000 dead birds, marking the worst hunting violation ever recorded in the country. Authorities seized 6,800 black caps, 40 Eurasian golden orioles, and 45 laughing doves, which were likely on their way to an upscale restaurant to be sold as a delicacy. Illegal bird harvesting is on the rise in the region, and conservationists are concerned that penalties for such violations are not severe enough to deter criminals. On to some happier news. Plans to release half a million baby yellow-spotted Amazon River turtles are underway in northeastern Peru. Volunteers working for a government conservation group collected a mass of turtle eggs back in August, and after incubation and hatching, several of the tiny turtles have already been set free in the first of three scheduled releases. The species is listed as vulnerable, and it's hoped that the conservation effort will help to ensure its long-term survival. It's been a busy week for fossil finds. The annual Society of Vertebrate Paleontology meeting saw the world's first dinosaur brain tissue unveiled. Inside a 133 million year old piece of dinosaur skull, scientists found bits of fossilized brain still preserved, including the mineralized remains of tiny blood vessels. And we have more fossil firsts. These frozen cave lion cubs found in Siberian permafrost in 2015 are the most complete remains of their species ever unearthed. Now, one year later, scientists have uncovered amazing details about their life and death. It appears the baby lions died when their den caved in and that icy grave preserved their tiny bodies and some of their DNA. Rounding off with this ambitious catfish clash. The flathead catfish on a gulping mission was filmed in West Virginia's Indian Lake. But was it lunch or a territorial skirmish? We'll never know. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. So tell us what you think in the comments below.